Hey guys, welcome to the Phone Arena YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about the latest Corning Gorilla Glass. So before we find out everything about it, can you imagine a world without glass? Just think about it. From large buildings to flying machines to cars right down to your smartphones, everything is made of glass. So that's why we are talking about glass today. And uh, you keep hearing this name Corning Gorilla Glass on your smartphone. So what does that mean to you? You know, all these past eight years, we have been hearing this name and it means that the screen cannot break or scratch easily, right? That's what Corning Gorilla Glass means to us. But how does Corning make that possible? That's pretty interesting. So let's go into that first before finding out about the latest one. Especially in India, when we take uh, durability, that's one of the most important concerns that we have, right? Like we keep dropping our phones or we keep scratching our phones. Maybe it is due to the dust. Maybe it is due to the keys or the coins or whatever we keep in our pockets. It just happens. We keep dropping our phones. So dropping of the phones that has increased. So the durability of the phones that also has to increase. So over the eight years, we have come to a point where both have come from a starting point. So what is that starting point? It is basically chemically strengthened glass. Okay, so what is chemically strengthened glass? Uh, that's pretty much what Corning Gorilla Glass is. So to make the glass really, really tough, they use an ion exchange process. That's the process that makes the glass really, really strong and tough. So you basically immerse the glass in a molten salt solution in which the small sodium ions, which is already inside the glass, gets replaced by the large potassium ions. So this ion exchange process increases the compressive strength of the glass. If you want to read more about this, there is a great video uh, by Adam Savage and another guy made by Corning themselves, uh, which talks about this process. So that's where Corning Gorilla Glasses strength comes from. And there is also a coating on top, which makes the scratch resistance uh, really, really high. So the number of scratches that you see, visible scratches, not the minute scratches that's going to be still there. The visible scratches are getting lesser and lesser thanks to the coating on top. So overall, you need a very transparent glass because you're using it on a smartphone and it needs to be tough. It needs to not break when it is bent, or not easily at least. And then, of course, it needs to scratch less. Now we come to the toughest and the least scratchy variant of Corning Gorilla Glass, which they call the Victus. Now, the last Corning Gorilla Glass, they had the number Gorilla Glass 6, but this time they are calling it the Victus because they think they have achieved a generational leap. So they are calling it the toughest and the best Corning Gorilla Glass till date. They say there is a two times increase in scratch resistance from the previous version of the Corning Gorilla Glass, which is GG6, and four times increase in scratch resistance compared to the competition, which is a random alumino silicate process-based glass. So you can see um, all these examples that they have shown here. They have made a lot of tests. The first test is the noob scratch test. Now, Gorilla Glass Victus shows off its competitiveness in which you can see the depth of the scratches is very less compared to the competition. The next is, of course, the popular drop test in which they have achieved a two meter height this time. Of course, it's a controlled test, but what you get is a hard drop on a sandpaper surface, which is about 180 millimeters rough surface, and still it doesn't break. So what they use is a smartphone-like thing, which is modeled like a smartphone with the weight that you would expect, like around 140 to 150 grams. And the glass is also curved. So yes, you can use curved glass on the Gorilla Glass Victus. It varies in thickness according to the OEM's uh, demands. It's from 0.4 millimeters to 1.3 or 1.4 millimeters. In the same drop test, you can see that the competition is achieving only up to 0.8 meters of height, while the Gorilla Glass Victus can go up to 2 meters. If you are thinking about the Gorilla Glass 6, it was up to 1.5 meters. In another test, which tests the breakage of the glass, it's called a slapper test. In this, you can see from a big height, there is a big swing and on onto the sandpaper surface. Again, 
the victors outperforms the competition by a big margin. So with these tests, we can clearly see that Victus has shown a lot of improvement. Now, of course, it doesn't mean that Gorilla Glass cannot break at all or cannot scratch at all. Of course, that's possible. It's still glass, but we are seeing a big jump this time. So that's the latest version of Gorilla Glass, the Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. We are going to see them soon in smartphones and all kinds of devices. So the first brand that is going to be using this Corning Gorilla Glass Victus is going to be Samsung. So if you learned something new today, do hit a like and drop a comment below as to what new things you found in this video and also what do you think about the Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. We'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.